9th International Physics Olympiad year 1976 IPHO I offer a private tutoring for Physics Olympiad preparation. I currently have openings. Message me if interested. My email is fred1996 at hotmail.com or you can use Skype name Edward F1996. Problem number one. A hollow sphere of radius R equal 0.5 meters rotates about a vertical axis through its center with an angular velocity of omega equal 5 radians per second. Inside the sphere a small block is uh, moving together with the sphere at the height of r over 2. g equal 10 meters per second square. Question A. What should be at uh, least the coefficient of friction to fulfill this uh, condition? Question B. Find the minimal coefficient of friction also for the case of omega equal 8 radians per second. Question C. Investigate the problem of uh, stability in both cases. First, for a small change of the position of the block. Second, for a small change of the angular velocity of the sphere. Solution for problem 1. Case A. Omega equal 5 radians per second. The block moves along a horizontal circle of radius r sine alpha. The net force acting on the block is uh, pointed to the center of this circle. The vector sum of the normal force exerted by the wall m, the frictional force s and the weight mg is equal to the resultant m omega square r sine alpha. The connections uh, between the horizontal and vertical components are these uh, two equations. The solution of the system of equations are this one. Force of friction S equal this expression and the uh, normal force equal this expression. And uh, the block does not slip down if we have no greater than force of friction over normal force, which is this expression. And after putting numbers, we will get 0 0.2259. In this case, uh, there must be at least uh, this friction to prevent slipping. So that was the solution for question A. Question B. Now suppose that omega equal 8 radians per second. If on the other hand we have omega square r cosine alpha over g greater than 1, some friction is necessary to prevent the block to slip upward. So it means that m omega square r sine alpha must be equal to resultant of forces s, n and mg. Conditions for the minimal coefficient of uh, friction is next one. Mu must be greater than S over N, which is uh, this expression now. And uh, after putting new numbers, we have 0 0.1729. So that was the solution for question B. Question C. Investigate the problem of uh, stability in both cases. First, for a small change of the position of the block and second for a small change of the angular velocity of the sphere. In the previous questions uh, we found critical coefficients uh, in both cases. In case A when the body tried to move down and in case B when uh, omega, omega is big and the uh, body try to go up. So it means that in the first case we decrease a little bit, no body start to move down. And uh, if uh, in the second case we decrease, uh, no body start to move up. 
And so let's investigate uh, our questions by uh, quality assumptions. So first, uh, let's investigate first case A, when uh, we have small omega and the force of friction going up. So it means that if we little bit uh, decrease our omega, our body start to move down. And if we increase omega, so it means that we just uh, decrease the force of friction and uh, still will not move. Let's uh, check what happened with the angle A. Because uh, our angle is critical, it means that if we little bit move it down, so it means that uh, we don't have enough force to struggle against the uh, force of friction. So it means that the uh, body will stay in this position. But if we will increase alpha, that will be critical coefficient of friction and uh, our body start to move in opposite direction. So that was uh, first case. Second case, when uh, bodies uh, try to move uh, up upward because uh, omega is big enough and the force of friction going downhill. So it means that if we increase little bit omega, it means that that will be not enough force of friction to hold it and the body start to move up. If we decrease omega, it means that we just, we don't need to struggle against the uh, force of friction and the body will stay in this position. And the uh, same thing for uh, angle alpha. Suppose that we decrease a little bit uh, alpha. So it means that uh, we don't need, in that case, uh, more force of friction to struggle against it and the body will stay this uh, angle which a uh, little bit less than critical but if we will increase alpha we have to increase our critical force of friction and the body will go back so we just investigate all these cases we see that in all cases it means that uh, when the body try to go one way it will stay there it, if it go in other way it will go further so that was the uh, main reasoning for this uh, question number c that was a uh, solution for question number c and uh, for all problem one